never give up. After Jesus' resurrection, he appeared to his disciples again at the Sea of Galilee. This was the third time that Jesus showed himself to the disciples after he had come back to life. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said, and we are coming with you. So they went out and got into the boat, and that night they caught nothing. As the sun was rising, Jesus stood on the shore. The disciples didn't realize that it was Jesus. He asked them, friends, haven't you caught any fish? They answered him, no, we haven't. He told them, throw the net out on the right side of the boat and you will catch some. So they threw the net out and were unable to pull it in because so many fish were in it. After they had eaten breakfast, Jesus asked Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than the other disciples do? Peter answered him, yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Jesus told him, feed my lambs. Jesus asked him a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter answered him, yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Jesus told him, take care of my sheep. Jesus asked him a third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter felt sad. Because Jesus had asked him a third time, do you love me? So Peter said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus told him, feed my sheep. Peter kept saying, I love you. But he refused to do what the Lord had called him to do. And that was to feed his sheep. Jesus was reminding Peter of his commitment to the Lord. I believe because Peter denied Jesus and his death on the cross, Peter gave up and returned to the place where Jesus called him. He went fishing in the Sea of Galilee. God may have called you to feed his sheep, but you have gone fishing. When Jesus was baptized and was about 30 years old, he began his ministry. Matthew 4, 17 through 20 says, From then on, Jesus began to tell people, Turn to God and change the way you think and act, because the kingdom of heaven is near. And he called his first disciples. As he was walking along the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and Andrew. They were throwing a net into the sea because they were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come, follow me. I will teach you how to catch people instead of fish. They immediately left their nets and followed him. We must never give up. We cannot allow ourselves to get tired of living the right way. Certainly, each of us will receive everlasting life at the proper time if we don't give up. Whenever we have the opportunity, we have to do what is good for everyone, especially for the family of believers. But if we do sin or give up, we have an advocate who pleads our case before the Father. He is Jesus Christ, the one who is truly righteous he himself is the sacrifice that atoned for our sin, and not only our sins, but the sins of the whole world. Jesus said we must always pray and never give up. I'm Pastor Larry Cobb of the Redeeming Like Ministries. You have a blessed day.